get your fists up. Tip cups to the ceiling if you're sick of feeling ripped off. I let my fist off, get lit and lift off. Raise your hands if you with me and you pissed off. I'm standing on the corner of 6th Street. I'm running out of time for this week. My head's pounding, stomach shaking. It's worth it, the hunger makes it. everybody it's me it's bb baby Ooh, and it has been a long day but we're gonna keep on trucking and we're gonna do so with pokemon fire red nuzlocke challenge uh, as you might remember we were on the road here uh basically just hitting up the trainers before fuchsia city before i take on uh what's his face now, I can't remember, did I do this yet? I meant to check the video. I don't remember checking it. I don't remember doing this, so let's let's just see here. A Pidgey! Alright, well. This might be overkill. I might have fucked this up already, but I don't care. It's fine. I just lost a Pidgeotto, so you know what? Getting a Pidgey back might be okay. I have him with Gyarados, so... Mm, I might have to shorten it. This is going to be something way better. A fucking Ditto. Well, you know what? I'm fine with that because Dittos are goddamn terrible. So it doesn't matter. I would never want to train a Ditto, especially in a Nuzlocke challenge, to save my life. So it's fine. I'm okay with it. Alright, well let's keep rolling down the trainers here. As we make our way to Fuchsia City. Take on Koga. Let's try to not lose a Pokemon this round. How about that? How about how about that for a goal? We try not to lose a Pokemon. I don't think that's a lot to ask for. So yeah, I lost my Pidgeotto. I replaced it with Sh bah, Shelder, or as I'm going to call him, Scary Vagina. That's preparation for when he evolves into Cloyster. I did a little leveling up in between. Uh, just so you guys didn't have to watch me get him up to 31. He was level 26. I'm trying to not do a lot of grinding, but if I lose a Pokemon and I have to come back to a new one, I am going to level him up to where everybody else on the team is. I mean, that just makes sense to me. No point in wasting... Otherwise, he's just gonna fucking die, right? So, you know. I'll take a risk. Hit him with the Aurora Beam. Cruel fucking fate make me faint a Pidgeotto after I lost one of my own. Heartless game. Heartless. Let's 
Son of a bitch. Get what you deserve. While leveling up, my uh, Snorlax learned Body Slam, so fuck you, Pidgeotto. How about that? Good for me. Alright, this should be a bird keeper. Should be a breeze for my shelter. Mmm, watermelon. So I specifically chose shelter because A, good defense. Which, uh, key. B, his ability prevents him from being affected by critical attacks. So, uh, crits have basically been what have taken all three of the Pokemon that I've lost in this game. So that seemed like a good idea. And plus, I've got that dual water ice type. So now I have a water type that is devastating to flying types. As well as dragon types. So... That's kind of the theory there. And I'm going to need a water type that's decent going into this uh, because I'm about to... Well, I'm still a little ways out, but uh, before long I'm going to be taking my sea voyage over to uh, Cinnabar Island. So I'm going to need a decent water type to keep with me all the time. Not just some surf slave that I can carry with me the entire time. So, Shelter of the water types that I went back and caught in all the other cities seemed like the good idea. And so far, now that I've got him past level 30, he's, uh, he's living up to his name. Or living up to expectations, I should say. Living up to his name will happen in a couple more levels. <laughs> Bam. So I'm out of hyper potions. I should still have some supers left. something there. Oh well. So let's go up here and around this little maze. Another bird caper which is perfect. Ice being better against flying and all that jazz. Oh plus all low level. Sweet. 33 here I come. Shelter was good choice. So then the other ones I caught were Horsey and Poliwag. Both great Pokemon. Don't doubt me, especially when you get up to Cedar and Poliwrath. But you know what? A little ice water goes a long way here. Let's just see what Icicle Spear does for shits and giggles, because I'm running out of PP for Aurora Beam. You dick. Like you're only hurting yourself. Sorry, allergies. Nose. Oh god, stop! Okay, I'm fine.
Yes, I will. Right to my shoulder, you fuck. I'm slowly coming to terms with Fat Bastard. The Snorlax that killed my Gyarados. Slowly. Bam! Alright, good stuff. Okay, rather than use up my elixirs, which I might need later in the game somewhere, I'm gonna run all the way back to a Pokemon Center and heal. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps me grow and lets me know that you guys are liking the content that I'm putting out there. Don't forget to check out more videos, especially more Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke.